Okay, a really common problem type is these car trailer problems, and a lot of students have difficulty with them, but they often pop up on exams. So here is a typical question. We've got a 2,000 kilogram car towing an 800 kilogram trailer. They're connected by this tow bar or cable here, and the questions often revolve around the tension in this tow bar. Essentially, these problems are all about Newton's second law, and so keeping in mind this net force equals ma is really the secret to these problems. This first part of the question asks you to calculate the tension force in the tow cable, and the car is moving at a constant speed. So constant speed should tell you straight away that net force is zero. Constant speed means no acceleration. If acceleration is zero, then net force is zero. So if we think for a moment about just the trailer, and this really is the secret to these problem types, is just isolating that trailer. So here we have a trailer with a resistance force of 200 newtons. It's a combination of drag and air resistance and friction on the road and that sort of stuff. And there is some other force pulling it forward. FT, the tension force in that cable. You can see if the net force is zero, as we know it is, then this FT pulling it forward must equal be equal and opposite to the 200 newton backwards for that forward tension force to be equal and opposite to that backwards force. These two must cancel out. So FT minus 200 must equal zero. And so the tension force at this point equals 200 newtons. The questions often ask, like this one here, the car exerts a driving force of 1,000 newtons on the road. What is the acceleration of the car and trailer now? So again, this is a Newton's second law problem. Net force equals ma. And so we have the trailer and the car. Altogether, we're going to consider them as a whole now. So the total mass of this whole system is 2,800 kilograms. And there are forces of 200 newtons backwards from the trailer, 350 newtons backwards from the car, and there is some force pulling them forward 1000 newtons and we asked to find the acceleration so what is the acceleration here well the net force is the sum of all the forces so we have 1000 newtons going forward minus the 350 pulling back and the 200 pulling back so there is the net force, and net force equals ma. And so 1000 minus 350 minus 200, so the net force is 450 newtons forward. That's the 1000 minus these two, minus these two, leaves 450 newtons forward equals 2800, the mass of the whole system, times a. And so a is 450 divided by 2,800, 0 0.16 metres per second squared is the acceleration. So we did that just by applying Newton's second law to this system as a whole. So we don't care about the tension in the cable at this point because we're, we're considering the whole system. And the third type of question you'll often see is the car now accelerates, so the whole system accelerates at 2.1 metres per second squared, it should be. What is the tension in the cable now? So again, we're going to go back to considering just the trailer this time. Anytime you're asked about the cable interconnecting them, it's always a good idea to think just about the trailer. So we have this object, the trailer, moving through space, it's accelerating at 2.1 meters per second squared. It has a mass of 800 kilograms. 
and there is some resistance force backwards of 200 and some tension force forwards. This forwards force is being provided by the tension in the tow bar, in the, the tow bar, the cable here. So those are the only forces that act on the trailer. And so just by applying Newton's second law again here, net force equals MA. So the net force is the tension force minus the 200. And that equals the mass, 800, times the acceleration of 2.1. And so the tension force minus 200. equals 1680 and so the tension force the te the tension in the in the cable is 1880 newtons so the trick with these questions is knowing when to consider only the trailer the thing being towed and that's normally when you're asked about the force in the cable that's a that's a good indication there uh, consider the whole system as a whole when you're asked about um, a driving force or an acceleration of the whole system.